Welcome to the HEROES How-To video series. This video will show HUD staff how to complete and certify a Part 50 environmental review in HEROES. Please note that partner users will not be able to view or edit any of the screens discussed in this video. The last screen that is accessible to partner users is the Prepare a Notification screen in which partners are directed to assign the review to HUD to complete the review. Once you've conducted all required analysis or reviewed and approved all analysis entered by any partner users and defined all mitigation measures and conditions, HUD must make the final determination about the project's potential impacts. This determination will vary depending on the level of review. The preparer will make an initial finding, but the final decision is up to the approving official. Following the determination screen, you'll be directed to the package screen to generate a preview of the environmental review record. The preparer should generate a preview, review the environmental review record, and ensure that all required fields are complete and appearing properly. If the environmental review is complete, the review is ready to be certified. HEROES allows for up to four electronic certifications. Not every review will require all four. Two certifications are required on every Part 50 review, the HUD preparer who completed the environmental review and the approving official who takes legal responsibility for its scope and contents. Only a HUD official with the authority to approve or reject projects may sign as the approving official. Each program determines whether the preparer's supervisor should certify the review. Consult program guidance or your program environmental clearance officer for more information. An environmental clearance officer, meaning the field environmental officer, regional environmental officer, or program environmental clearance officer, must sign off on all environmental assessments affecting 200 or more units or beds. Some projects may require a second approving official to certify the review. We'll discuss how to handle that scenario at the end of this video. We'll start by walking through how a preparer certifies the review. Preparers will be directed to screen 6350 certifications immediately following the package screen. This screen may be accessed via the side menu here. First, check the checkbox to indicate that you have completed the environmental review, including all findings and an independent evaluation of any information provided by any partners. When you do that, your name and the date will generate automatically. Manually select your recommendation as to whether the project should be approved or rejected. Then type up any comments you'd like to enter and enter your title. Then be sure to press Certify. When you see the pop-up, that means your certification has been saved and you may sign the review to the next user. The process is basically the same for all other users. Only the current assigned user can edit a review, meaning that you will not be able to certify a review until another user has assigned it to you. When a review is ready for your certification, you'll receive an email from heroesnoreply at hud.gov alerting you that it's been assigned to you. This email will include the name of the review and any comments or instructions from the user who assigned it to you. When you log into HEROES, you'll automatically see the reviews that are assigned to you. You can toggle to this view using the radio button on the dashboard. To search for a specific review, enter its name in the search box on the left side of the dashboard. When you found the review you're looking for, select the radio button next to it. When certifying a review, make sure you press the edit button, not the view button, so that you can edit and certify the review. When you open up the review, you'll start on screen 1105, Initial Screen. Before certifying a review, you should review the incomplete environmental review record and check for any issues. Either click through each screen using the side menu, or navigate directly to the certification screen and generate the environmental review record as a Word document. Press the View Environmental Review Record button at the top of the screen to generate a preview of the environmental review record. Then find the correct signature block for your role and follow the same steps for certifying that the preparer did. Check the box indicating that you have reviewed the project and your name and the date will autofill. Select your recommendation and enter any comments as well as your title. Be sure to press the certify button and wait for the confirmation pop-up. Note that only field environmental officers, regional environmental officers, and program environmental clearance officers may certify a review as the environmental clearance officer. This certification is required only for environmental assessments affecting 200 or more units or beds. 
If you are an environmental clearance officer, this signature block will be editable, and you should follow the same steps to certify the review as in the other certification blocks. It's up to the approving official to make the final decision as to whether to approve or reject the project. If you have any concerns or edits to the review, you may choose to route it back to the preparer for further updates. When you're satisfied with the review and ready to certify, be sure to select the radio button indicating your approval and press the Certify button. The final environmental review record will show only the approving official certification, including their name and title and the date they certified the review. When your certification is complete, scroll to the top of the screen and find the Assign Review button in the upper left corner. Use the Assign Review screen to assign the review to the next user. When the review has all necessary certifications, scroll to the bottom of the screen to complete the final step in marking the review complete. Depending on the selection made by the approving official, either mark the review approved or rejected. If the review is marked approved, you'll be directed to screen 6600, Complete an Archive Review. Press both buttons, Archive and Finish. The Archive button will post the environmental review record on the HUD exchange for public review. The Finish button will mark the review complete and its status will change from in progress to either complete or complete conditioned on mitigation. If an environmental review covers more than one HUD program or division, for example, a Part 50 review for a RAD transaction that will also utilize home funds, the review may require certifications from more than one approving official. Because HEROES only allows for one approving official per review, the second approving official must sign the review on paper. Here we have a template signature page that can be used for paper signatures. This chart shows the process to follow when two programs and approving officials are involved in one review. After the primary program completes the environmental review and all certifications, they should assign it to the secondary program for review. The HUD preparer from the primary program should prepare a signature page for the approving official from the secondary program. Once the approving official for the secondary program has signed off, the preparer should upload this additional signature page on screen 1125, Project Summary. Thank you for watching this Heroes how-to video. For more information on using Heroes, go to the Heroes page on the HUD Exchange.